Hey, it's Tinla here, and uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Customizing Through NAS Dashboard using Grafana 7.0. This week, I want to show you how to create a storage pool panel where you can easily understand and see how much space you use within the pool just like this. All right. I remember last week I had the storage pool available space uh, like this but it's not very intuitive to, to, to look at because I don't understand uh, how much I've used uh, by looking at this uh, panel. So it, it is clear to, to, to see how much space you use and how much free space available for you uh, within the pool. So also I want to show you my true NAS setting for that media pool as, as you can see it's 2.5 terabyte of available space and with 29% of use space, which pretty much align with this uh, reporting with this panel. So I know that this panel is uh, is correct. So as you can see, I set up, I got three pools setting up like this with uh, 229 gigabyte of use space. And, and you can see this is how much space left. And with this one, you can see is I got almost 80 gigabyte of used space with that much left. So uh, you can pretty much see the overall usage for your true NAS system. Very clear, very intuitive. So let's stick around. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. It's not easy. It's not easy. I searched up and down on the internet, but I couldn't find any information that uh, helps me to, to do this. Uh, so, but this can only be done with Grafana 7.0. But before we going any further, I assume that you have some knowledge about Grafana and Influx DB time series database from my previous videos. If you haven't seen them, please go and check them out. I put a link to those videos down in the description below so you won't miss them okay so i'm gonna remove this one and create another panel all right so with the new panel name i'm gonna give it the name the ally with my uh, pool name so media pool and second i need to connect to the influx db uh, which call tunas in my case and I need to find out how much available space in this pool. So I'm going to select the, the pool for that name MNT and then the pool name and I'll select a free and I remove the mean. I'll select the last, which is the last value that uh, TrueNAS reporting to InfluxDB. Okay, I'm going to give it a alias name by calling it free. Okay, cool. So that's it. And so now I think that I select a bar uh, for visualization. All right, I got this number. This number basically that's many bit of free available space. Okay, I'm gonna make another query. Uh, I'll select the same media pool, and then this time I'm gonna select use, and also I'll select last. I'm gonna call it. Uh, media pool which is which is the use uh, value uh, within the data sets within that data sets depends on how many data sets that you have for the pool for this media pool I got one two three four five I got total of five data sets so I'm gonna figure out how much space that uh, in these five data sets uh, it using okay so that's why I need to do a query for all of those data sets so I'm gonna copy and paste and this is this and I'm gonna call it the media for, for for me to easier to configure later on okay I'm gonna copy another one Now I have successfully added all five data sets and it can show you uh, within this uh, bar graph that this is how much uh, use space in that data set. So you can see, okay, now 
we want to add all these values together by going into transform tab and we are gonna add field from calculations first I need to have a total amount of uh, space within the pool so basically this is a total available space when you create a pool all right so that's the first thing the second thing that you also add another basically you need to add all these uh, five data sets usage to make up the total use space uh, within that pool okay so add few from uh, and now you just have to select media pool media and media 4k media movie which is all these data sets so which means i'm gonna call it use all right so this is the total amount of usage within a pool and this is the total available space within the pool and this is the free so now I got very good information about this media pool. Okay, so I'm going to use this one to customize this and I want to filter out all these. I want to, I don't want to show them on. So I want to filter them out. So I get filter by name and the, I, I only want to show total and use. I don't want to show the other um, value for, for, the, for this. So this is pretty good now. The total and use the these are the only information that we need right now in order to have this panel okay and over here now we're gonna have to customize it in the field so we know that this is a total so we're gonna copy this number we're gonna paste it into the max value for that field paste okay and minimum uh, which is zero so the unit for this one is data bit so now you can see 3.506 terabyte of, of total and 1.014 terabyte of use space for that pool okay decimal i want to have two decimal only that's fine i already figured out the, the maximum number for the, within that pool so i don't need to turn this one on so i'm going to turn this one off so now it's leave me with uh, the use space available within that pool uh, I'm going to turn it into horizontal. I prefer it that way. So also the calculation, I'm going to select last, if not null. Okay. I, I don't know why I turned it to zero, but uh, we're, we're going to refresh it. And it's coming back up right away. All right. Percentage. For this one, uh, I'm going to turn it into 95%. So when this one hit roughly about 90%, it will turn into red right turn to the red that looks better and green that's good and that's it and hit apply and there you have it now you got a a panel for for the media pool that's showing use space you can also customize it and make it into a value so let's say display name use space right hit apply and there you go you can do it like this but this is more intuitive to see to figure out how much space is available for you to fill up that total pool i think it's way better than than before okay that's it for this week video and i hope that it's uh useful for you to create your own customized dashboard for TrueNAS. if you have any question just shoot me a line okay thanks for watching bye